Okay, so in this talk, we are going to build, it's, it's a continuation of a previous talk where we consider the situation where we have a power series, summation a, k, x to the k, the coefficients are growing or decaying uh, some exponentially, and, it, and we are really concerned about polynomial type growth and decay, and we have to figure out the interval of convergence. Okay, now if the coefficients grow or decay some exponentially, uh, then what's the radius of convergence? One. One, all this one. Okay, now we have to use the degree difference test to figure out in general what, what the interval of convergence is, that is what's happening at minus one and what's happening at one. Now earlier I wrote down a simple test which works when it's just a rational function or something like that and that based or that's just we basically just did the degree differences plugged in one plugged in minus one and called these conclusions mm -hmm. okay and we did a lot of examples then and that seemed to work fine. But now I'm going to consider some things which are just slightly more twisted. You cannot use this simplified solution. You have to actually plug in. And the reason is, well, let's just look at look at our example. So here, summation k x to the 2k over k squared plus 1. Now the, the main way it's different from the early ones is that the exponent on x is no longer k. It's 2k. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now how does that, that complicate matters? Well, you now have to be careful about how the alternation and stuff will actually work out. Okay. So we have we should actually plug in one and minus one. We cannot now just use the shortcut rule which I wrote. I wrote a shortcut rule which works when the exponent is exactly k. But when it's not, when well, it's something like two k, you have to actually plug in and get it. Okay. So what's the radius of convergence first of all? One. Yeah. Still one because the exponent is 2k. This is a rational function in k, but it's also a rational function of 2k if you want. Okay, mm -hmm. so the radius convergence is still one, but for the interval of convergence, you now have to be a little more careful. So, what's the interval of convergence? Do you include minus one and do you include one? Well, do you include one? No. What's the degree difference? One. So, when you plug in x equal to one, what do you get? You get you get uh, summation of a rational function mm -hmm. to deal with this one, so one is not included. Okay, good. What about what else? Are there any other four things which are included? Next is the minus one, one thing included or not? Minus y is not included either. Why not? Because the 2k eliminates the alternating sign. Okay, and so because you have 2k here, even when you plug in minus 1, you don't have any sign alternation. Mm -hmm. So therefore, the series doesn't converge at minus 1 either. And so that's why I said that you cannot naively use this rule, because the naively, if you just said degree q minus degree t is 1, so the interval converges minus 1 and close, minus 1. But that happened when the exponent was k, and you had alternation, and now you don't. Okay, good. What about the next one? k x to the 2k plus 1 over k squared plus 1. Is closed on negative one, open on one. So why is it closed at negative one? Because it's again alternating. Is it? Yeah. What are the signs? These are odd powers of minus one, right? Oh, it's not alternating. Not it's always alternating. negative. It's always negative. Mm -hmm. So it's open on both. Okay. What about the next one? So this one is alternating. So is it closed at it's closed at minus one is what you're saying? Is it closed at one? Uh it's closed at minus one. Is it closed at one? No. Well what happens if you plug in one? The degree difference is Yeah, but when you plug in one, it's still alternating, right? Because you still have the minus one to the k. Yeah. So it's alternating at both. It includes both. Okay, I think I got confused a little bit. I'm not confused now. I just said uh, I was confused. Okay. Now, but this is interesting because here you notice that it's actually, it's closed on both ends, but it's not absolutely convergent at either end, right? Mm -hmm. So you can have a situation where, where the interval of convergence is closed, but you don't have absolute convergence. So it's conditionally convergent at both end points. Okay. Okay. So it's a little weird. Okay. But so it's conditional convergence at end points. Because you, you, the way you're used to it is that if it's conditionally convergent, you'll only get one endpoint and be open at the other. But here's an example where it's conditionally convergent at both. Okay, and the last one? 
we have 3k in the exponent. So what happens? At, w at one is it conversion? At one it doesn't converge, at next to one it converges. Okay, so because, the because you have an odd thing here, 3, then it's just the way you usually, it's just like the usual rule, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so when the, okay, now if the degree difference were not 1, if it were greater than 1 or less than 1, if it like 0, I mean, if, if the degree difference were in either of these cases, you don't have to bother about the subtleties, right? It's only when the degree difference is greater than 0 and less than equal to 1, then you have to bother about the subtleties when the exponent becomes 2k. Yeah. Okay. Now I want to consider another type of situation where you have the exponent now is not 2k, it's k squared. So what happens in this situation? Uh, well, you have to, I think you have to separate the case when k Let me see. Okay. So, it is the sign, is, the sign is alternating when you plug in that to one. Oh, it's greater than one. So it's closed on both ends. It's closed both on both ends. Yeah. Okay. And what about the other? This one. It's also closed on. Both. Well, you did an actual recent example where the degree difference is less than one. Okay, let's do one with that. So, Okay, what about this one? This one, it will be closed on negative one. Open on one. Open on one. So, making it... Uh, k squared doesn't uh, really change anything. Okay. What about this? This time it will be open on both ends. Open on both ends. Okay, good. So we see that the changing the k to k squared, at least as well as this, is it goes on doesn't really make any difference because we're just trying to plug in the endpoints one and minus one. Mm -hmm. And when we're just trying to plug in the endpoints, whether we are uh, whether it's k or k squared doesn't make a difference. Okay, mm -hmm. good.